Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Terranigma with an impatient arcade again. Uh, so let's see where we're going next. Uh, do I want to go to Windvale again? No. How about the rest of you? Safarium? Paradise of Animals? Uh, do they all take me somewhere different? Oh, yeah. Small temperate island called Camillo. Sure. Oh, that's really interesting that um, we can go to different places here. So, Safarium was definitely in yellow, so I mean, that's obviously an important place. Probably the next major dungeon. I'm curious if this Camillo place is another progression area or just like a little side side trip we have those two extra islands that we raised as well i'm not quite sure how we get to those maybe that's later on oh yeah this is a really small island actually stopover Huh, alright, well, let's go explore around here and see what we got. I, I mean, this is like a really small island. That is super weird. There's, I guess there's nothing, nothing actually here? There must be at some point. Yeah, th there's got to be something here at some point in time. Just not now, it seems. Well, let's head back to Shang Shuar. That was kind of a, a quick trip. So it looks like we're heading to the Safarium next. What are that little island's for? There's also a little bit of different colored water I'm pointing at my screen like you can see, but on the edge of that island, there's like a little cove there, and it had a different coloring of the water. Um, which is kind of interesting. I don't, I don't know if we can eventually uh, get like a raft or something. I mean, that definitely looked like somewhere you could go into just north of that island we were just in. So that'll be interesting to find out when we get that far. So let's head to the Safarium now. Uh, yes. Paradise of Animals. So, I would guess that this is going to be heading to Africa. Uh, we're in North America right now. Started in South America. So, if we're going to another continent, it's the Safarium. I guess it would be Africa. Typically, at least, I don't know what comes to mind first when I think Safari. A little oasis there. Oh, this is the Sahara. Yep, here we go. Um, there's a little oasis there, too, like, Savannah, yep, definitely, uh, African continent. Literally the continent of Africa. Oh, this is pretty. It was a happening place, huh? Simple Rhino Simon, Mesky the Slow Turtle, Neo the Lion King? I can't, can not conjure a funny image about that. No one cares about art anymore. This is very strange. Um, okay, so these looks like these pathways. I that's a hint for, you know, like, stuff we're gonna have. I'm actually gonna save here because um, if I do die, I want to make sure I have a checkpoint nearby. Just in case. Oh, we have two spirits here. Oh, you're the magic shop. A uh, zap ring? Geo ring must be earth damage. I'll buy one of those. Might as well. Curiosity. Snow ring, grass pin, wind. 
The wind pin only takes two. It must be an item shop? Yeah. Stardew. Stardew. Do. Uh, why don't we buy two of them just in case? Actually, go into our item screen, I think, and find out what exactly that does. Must be another status effect, would be my guess. Oh, lifts curses. We haven't encountered curse before. Can swim here. Can we swim behind the waterfall? Um, there's a cave up there. Nobody here, though. Assuming this is where... Yeah, the animals that they were talking about live. The lion den. Um, it seems to be empty, though. All right, well, let's head out uh, to the world map. There must be an area to go somewhere on the continent where we can rescue these poor creatures. Heal the lion, though. I can't get over that. I mean, Leo the lion is kind of like, you know, the obvious one, but... Uh, whoops. <laughs> that was not intentional. All right, uh, oh boy, there's a whole lot of places to go here. Oh, we have the desert here. Go in the desert, surprisingly. All right, we're in the savannah. Oh, okay, here's the place. Oh, zoo, I know, I've heard of this place. Um, I've actually heard of it as being very complicated, much like Moo in Illusion of Gaia, so that's a little concerning. The mountain range here. Whoa, canyon. This is a. Uh... Canyon will be a real challenge for mere survival. Best that you stay clear. What is this? I think it won't actually let me go. Huh. Boy, that's strange. I wonder what this is. Must be something that opens later? Maybe once we rescue the animals? So, Zoo is probably our next um, major dungeon, would be my guess. Can travel quite a ways up here, though. I do want to explore a little bit first. Arabia? There's no uh, hidden spots or anything up here. All this empty land. Hmm. Curious. Alright, well, let's head back to Zoo. Uh... Say I'm a little nervous about this dungeon. Oh, oh, oh god. Okay, so there are bugs in these plants. And they definitely hurt. There's really cool music already, though. Digging that. Are there gonna be bugs under all of these? I guess so. Oh, we got this crazy, um, I don't even know what you were, like some sort of lizard man or something? It's a really cool design. I really like that. We actually seem to be very, very powerful still. Uh, this rock spear is just fantastic. A lot of separate screens here, though. It gives me a little bit of concern. Right, the turtles are pretty resistant. Oh god, they explode. Okay. I don't know if that would have actually hurt me, or... Um... For the sake of curiosity... Try... 
Didn't I buy uh, an Earth Ring? I thought I bought a Geo Ring. That was a bad, bad idea. Did I not buy a Geo Ring? Did I just cancel? That would have been kind of silly if I did. Oh, storm clouds blot out the sun, uh, much like their arrows. Um, that's it. So it's raining. They actually have an effect on everything. Do I have um? Hmm. We got a little lizard guy here. Yeah, there seem to be bugs under every plant. These guys are certainly a lot hardier as well. Is that just a dead end for real? Boy, I can already tell this dungeon is going to be very, very confusing. Do a little slide with their tail there. It seems to almost always be bugs under those plants. These turtles are definitely tough. Oh, okay. I can I can climb back up there though. Boy, it is very very dark when it's raining. Oh, I can't actually climb up there. Oh, sunny again. Boy, this is weird. Is that like on a timer, maybe? So there's a treasure chest over there if we can get there. Oh, that gives us the toasted debuff. Wait a minute. That's the exit. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. This is going to be complicated. There's nowhere we can go up here. We can come down here. We can't climb this, though. Is there a way to, uh, like, it can't just rain and fill this with water, can it? Because then we could swim across. I know, like, in the game mechanics, we can't ever jump up or climb up something to the south. Like, the graphics just don't... not programmed to do that. Um, oh, here just looks like another passageway here. Boy, those are pretty dangerous. This is a weird-looking tree. These crazy plants. Rain because of monsters means barren land. Natives made altars for holding rain ceremonies. Huh. Okay. Bulb. Poison cube. So is that tree actually an altar and not a not a tree? goes back to where I've already been, doesn't it? It's raining. If I go down here while it's raining, this isn't, like, filled up or anything, right? No. Hmm. Oh, okay, we haven't been up here yet. Didn't realize there's another passageway here. Here we go. Uh, there's a smaller tree. Maybe of those are just trees. Sunlight breaks through. A lot of trees. Another kind of uh, empty riverbed or something. Question is, can I jump down there? No, okay, you can't jump down. 
to the north, which, I mean, I kind of figured. Oh, there's a spirit here. Hello. Rainfall altars, relics from the past, can be found in zoo. Um, yeah, you don't say. That's a big, ugly frog. Alright, we have a couple of paths to the north here. Why don't we actually go to this other one first? Is that frog an enemy, or is it... Oh yeah, definitely. We can climb down there where that frog is. Yuma exhaled sharp. Oh, it does like a knockback. And another spirit. A shaman. With his four rainfall altars. this one of them? Oh, whoa. Souls join. Save our people. Huh. Okay, so we need to find... Oh, are these the souls that we've already found? That's interesting. I wonder if that's just like... Um, those two are always there, or if those are actually the souls we've freed so far. So, like, if we find the other two and then come back here, then they'll make it rain. In the literal sense, not in the slang sense. I mean, they can do both. Like, they can go for some more gems. Maybe I'll see if I can get the uh, the rain to happen first here before I end the episode. Also, kind of, oh, here we go. Make way to a rainfall altar. So this is basically moot in reverse. Um, there was another one. Okay, so those must be the four spirits. I'll climb down here first and check. Um, okay, so this is just this area. But yeah, this is definitely just, which, I mean, it's, I made the comparison to Mu, Zoo, I mean, it's obviously something there. Um, oh wow, this is a dead end. But, uh, yeah, this is, so this seems like it's going to be Mu in reverse. If you're not uh, familiar with Illusion of Gaia, if you haven't watched those videos, uh, basically in Mu, a lot of it was underwater and you had to drain the water to proceed. Here it seems like we need to raise the water. Huh, those frogs aren't back. This one is though. I guess that because that one had a spirit. Our defense is actually in a really good spot. I've been taking a ton of hits here, but I'm not even at half life yet. Close, but we've got a lot of full heals, so. There should be four spirits in here. Yeah, okay, nice. Feeling enormous power. a much bigger effect than I was expecting.
Green is really a soothing color. Oh, Ark. Simple Simon the Rhino. Yep. Turtle and Neo the Lion. Now, what's curious to me, the only reason I haven't uh, stopped just yet is that that was Alter 1? Originally, I thought I saw that one of the spirits was talking about four altars. This dungeon may be enormous, if that is actually the case. Where this takes me, it should be like at this treasure chest at least. We'll explore a little more here before I call it. Oh, nice defense potion. Oh, whoops. The bug's still here, I wonder? Hmm, curious. I wonder if being in the water during the storm is bad. Those gems from the, the turtles are actually only worth 10. It's actually quite a downgrade from previous dungeons. Oh, okay. So the, the dried up trees are gone now. Now I get it. I don't know why they would just be totally gone, but... Ooh, the sticker. In a medium bulb, okay. We got a new weapon, we'll equip that here in a second. Oh no, there are still bugs. Okay, that's what I was trying to pick those up to find out. So the sticker... Um, it's not earth damage, but it is one more damage beyond that. I mean, now we have a little bit of green. So that's curious. I wonder if um actually going to be more powerful, or it actually will be less powerful because it is not earth damage. This is the area from before. Swim that way. There's another treasure chest, too, I think I need to get. Well, we definitely do more damage to the turtles. What about these guys? Yeah, I'd say it's an overall upgrade. There was another treasure chest I really would like to get before um, pausing here. Oh, so this area is still all barren, though. Okay. I did not expect that. Figured that would have raised, like, the level universally throughout the area. So let's see what is to the east up in the river here. Does that mean we're gonna flood this whole area? myself a little turned around here, but I think heading up this way. Yeah, yeah, here we go. So can I actually just go in the water from this direction now, I wonder? I hope so. 
Yeah, okay. So that means if we go to the east here... Yeah, we'll have a new area and a new um, section. Oh, we actually have to have the other spear equipped. Well, that's kind of silly. Yeah, that is really strange. It forces you to use the old weapon. I mean, that being said, I'm probably... Okay, so this is the next rainfall. I'm probably just going to leave this weapon equipped because... Um... We're going to need to have it equipped to break rocks anyway. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me to keep switching back and forth. Are there really going to be four rainfall altars? Kind of interesting, those turtles only dropping 10 gems really, really cuts down on how much you're getting in this area compared to previous areas. We definitely have to kind of destroy every enemy here. Um, health is getting a little low, but I can still, I can wait until I'm pretty much dead. Use one of those grass pins. Oh, what is it? Wait a minute, hold on. Huh. Interesting. That's a dead end. Alright, well this is all gonna be filled with water at some point. Good puff of air. Oh, okay. We have to aggravate these guys. There we go. Hey, we leveled up. Knife up nine, strength two, defense three, nice. Luck two. I'm assuming this guy's gonna have one of the spirits. Uh, whoops, that was not what I meant to do. That was very foolish. <laughs> I think that was actually my Geo Ring, amusingly enough. Oh, yeah, that turtle was uh, stunned there. It's kinda, it looks like it's the Earthquaker effect from Illusion of Gaia, basically. Just um, actually useful. Climb up here, and we might as well. This is probably the other altar. Altar two, yeah. We need one more spirit. So maybe I'll, I'll do this altar, and then I know we've said this like a million times now, then I'll end the episode. Um, just so it's, ooh, okay, that's, I was gonna say, this is not the last spirit, we're gonna have a problem. Good, okay, so let's, uh, let's flood this part of the place, and then we're gonna have a very similar scene here. Um, oh, it's not quite the same. Um, but it is green now, I'm sure there is. Yeah, okay, so that's all filled there. Alright, so that will do it for now. Continue next time. Thank you for watching. See you soon.